Here's how to style elements within Webflow's rich text element. All right, so here's a static rich text element, and you can tell by the icon right here, and this one has two paragraphs within it. Let's go ahead and add more. I'm gonna press return, and I get a plus sign right here. And let's add an image. I'm going to choose this. Let's add a caption to it. Add a caption to it. All right, I'm gonna press this, uh, press return and press the plus. And let's also add a YouTube video. And lastly, we can add a SoundCloud embed. Now let's style all of these elements. So if I click outside first, you'll see all of the figures show up on the left right here. Let's go ahead and style the paragraphs. And so to style it, if you click it once, you'll notice that the style panel on the right changes. You can't actually style it until you declare it. So I'm going to click on this, click on all paragraphs, plus, and then all paragraphs within the static rich text element are going to have this style. So all of them, I'm going to choose Montserrat. Let's make it bigger to 16 pixels and 1.5 dash. Okay, cool. Now all of these figures, I'm going to click on one of the figures on the left navigator, click on the style, all figures plus, and then let's go ahead and add a border to them, like a, a five pixel border that's teal for some reason or cyan, yeah. And let's set the border radius to 10, and there we go. So if I click outside, I've gone ahead and changed all the styles for those figures. We're done. Now, what if your rich text element is uh, coming from a dynamic template page or the, uh, or the text, the content is actually coming from a, a collection? Well, right here, I have dynamic rich text, and this, if I double click anything, I get this inner text settings. So how do you style this image and the H3s? Here's how you do it. Right click on the element and press duplicate. And now that we have two of them, I can go ahead and double click this first one and untick this. Now this has become a static one and you can tell that it's a static rich text element because it is white, it is no longer that purple color. So this is not pulling data from a collection. Now, let me triple click this H2 and change it to H3. And then now I have to click outside so the element can update here in the navigator. Click on the H3, then go to the style panel and just like what we did before, we set this up. And let's go ahead and change it to whatever color I want and watch what happens. Notice how this is being changed and at the same time this is. And that is because this has the same class name as this, as this st uh, static one. All right, so let's go ahead and change the paragraphs too. I'm gonna click on the paragraph in the static rich text, apply styles to that, and let's make this Montserrat, make it bigger, line height 1.5 dash. Let's give it more space on the bottom. And there we go. So all of them are changing. Lastly, let's change this figure to have a border for some reason. So I'm gonna click here, double click inside of the rich text, press enter, and I get that plus sign again. I'm gonna upload an image. Oops. And then click outside for the navigator to update. Click on figure. Declare it here, and let's go ahead and add border radius 10 style, however I need. And if I scroll down, that same, that image right here has that. So if I say I'm done styling all of my elements, I can go ahead and delete the static one, and we're done. And if I go to my different dynamic pages, all of them have that same thing applied. And that's styling elements inside of a rich text element inside of Webflow.